Hey there, South Jersey. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We are high and dry for today, and the reason is high pressure. Everywhere that you see the red, that means higher pressure is overhead, and that includes us here in South Jersey. You can see this system extends all the way into western Canada and even into the Northwest Territories and the Yukon. So this is a big high pressure system that is dominating our landscape. However, as we go into tomorrow, different story here. High pressure tries to hang on as much as it can during the day. And we do have good details that tell us that actually most of the daytime hours on Friday will be dry. This is a model from PivotalWeather.com. Just a representation. Doesn't mean what's actually going to happen. In fact, I believe we don't get anything any showers till after 9 a.m. But we do see areas of coastal flooding, minor coastal flooding during the morning. Move your cards if you need to. And that first block or two of Bayside roadways will have some water on them. 1 o'clock Friday, we're still trying to hang on mostly dry here. And I think we do, but the steadier rain does come in during the p.m. commute. We will see periods of rain, looks to be a steady rain, no necessarily heavy rain for us that will continue into the evening. Bring an umbrella or make sure you got the rain gear if you're heading out Friday night. That will continue late into the night here on Friday. We will also see that low pressure move offshore. And right as soon as that cold front comes through, we dry out pretty quickly. We clear out when we eventually get cooler too. We have a strong northwesterly wind that will blow on Saturday and that will put temperatures into below average territory and even about 10 degrees below average as we make our way into Sunday. For today, though, no complaints. We had the clouds earlier. Now we see sunshine, temperatures in the mid-50s. For tonight, clouds are on the rise again, and this is ahead of our storm system. No rain is expected overnight. It will be a crisp evening here, a nice fall evening. Low temperatures in the low 40s on the mainland, upper 40s at the shore. And then for Friday, Temperatures hovering just around the 60 degree mark. It's muggy out there, but most of the day is dry. Will be gusty though. Notice those winds onshore. That's why we have that coastal flooding threat gusting to about 30 miles an hour. So how about we break out the can I? Haven't done this in a while. Can you rake leaves on Friday? Most of the day is good, so we'll give it a green light for there. If you have outdoor work, as long as you're not sensitive to rain, you will be fine too because most of the daytime hours are good. If you're trying to see high school football, Bring the umbrella, bring the rain gear because the rain does become steady then, but no lightning, which would cancel the game, so we are all right there. And if you're going for a run outside, unless you're running a marathon during the afternoon and evening hours, you are looking good. Plenty of daytime dry time for us. Mainland seven day forecast shows we have that rain Friday night, then look at that sunny for Saturday, but it's a sunny, windy day, feeling a little more like winter. Temperatures only around 50. Check out the lows Saturday night and Sunday night. Mid to upper 20s, that ends the growing season. The growing season has continued for mainland Cape May as well as Atlantic County. That will be over by the time we get to Veterans Day. And then Monday, staying in the 40s. Coastal storm on Tuesday. Looks to be all rain for us. And then as we go into Wednesday, cold weather on the backside. So if you like winter, you're going to love that 42 on Wednesday. That is below average even for the middle of January by just about a degree or two. Point being, it is going to be cold out there. Sure, seven-day forecast. Morning coastal flooding. We got plenty of sunshine for the weekend, but it's a chilly sunshine. Temperatures are above average for Saturday night and Sunday night. 50s on Monday. We get that southeasterly wind. Then we have that coastal storm on Tuesday to worry about. And it's going to be a whipping, wintry day as we go into our Wednesday. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, as well as Twitter. And you can always check out our website. We're talking about how to forecast coastal flooding, which is important because we have that coming up on Friday at thepressofac.com slash weather.